Yo, hey, yo, what up, good folks? I said, what up, good people? Got off work early today, so you know what that means. Time to hit the YouTube streets, boy. <laughs> I be hitting up the YouTube streets when your boy get off early. And uh, I don't really got no errands to run. I'm just really looking for puck lights for my uh, display. Um, so... I'll show you guys after I, I come from this target. But um, I don't think there's really anything I'm hunting for that's out there. I got all my pre-orders in that I want to pre-order. Um, the Joes and whatnot like that. And, you know, there's a couple of things on my Amazon wish list that are no longer in the store because I'm late on getting certain things. Uh, so, yeah. But we still going to run by the toy section and see what's popping in there. You know we got to every time you go to the store. you know I don't care what you're going to the store for. Who understands this? It don't matter what you're going to the store for. If you know there's an action figure section, you're going to go by there. That's the life we live. This is our life, okay? You could be going to the store to get a pack of Bubblicious and... It's right there in the front in the register. You still going to walk your ass way in the back <laughs> of the store just to see what's popping before you exit up out of there and get your pack of Bubblicious. You know what I'm saying? I know they probably don't carry Bubblicious in Target or Walmart no more, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, so, got that. Got that. Hey, men of culture, we unite. Even though y'all ain't see it, men of culture know that. God, God. You know what's happening when you say, God, God. I'm just saying, you know, when you in mid-conversation and you you glare on over to the left or the right, you God, God. just hit them with one of those. God, God. <laughs> Boy, them cakes, boy, them cakes be out here, boy. Fresh bakeries just walking around in the street. I didn't forgot what the hell I was talking about. I have no idea what I was talking about. I don't even care to pause to think. But let's get up in the store. Because <laughs> I want to see. All right, let's see what's happening up in here. Bye. Which is nothing. That Robert Downey face sculpt, though. Sheesh. That's clean. That one's cool, too. Let's see what Rogers look like. Yeah, Steve Rogers is on. Man, it took them years to get a good Steve Rogers open mass face sculpt. And guess what? Now that I'm looking at it real good, it still ain't money, money. This one's cool because um, he got a mask on, but <laughs> yeah, I ain't picking those up. More Python trash. Yeah, a lot of Python trash. Um, now. Yeah. More OG nostalgia figs, smut junkyard. That's that hot fire right there. That's that hot fire. Uh, DC ain't doing nothing. Yeah, still got one back there. And Aquaman. We got two up here. Aquaman. Aquaman taking over the shelves, ain't he? He ain't messing around, boy. Look at that. Uh, Damn. Yeah, what we got for bots, man? Who's that? Megatron? What the? Look like Bumblebee. See, they tapping into some shows I never even watched when you got Megatron looking like that. I've never seen that. Maybe I'm just a part-time bot guy. Iron is deep. 
into the, I guess, lore, because, you know, you got bot guys that watch everything Transformers ever did, put out comics, everything. I'm not that deep. I'm just 80s, man. I, I just, I'm just going from the, the 80s show. You know what I mean? And that, and that's it. <laughs> um, it ain't nothing over here. I ain't got no rush, man. It's, that's why I'll never come to this Target, man. This Target is booty cheeks, man. Straight booty cheeks. Look, you want to go to the, to a Target to find some figs, you got to go to a Super Target. This is not a Super Target. Super Target got like a full grocery store. They got produce. That's how you can tell you in a Super Target. Look, look, I was just telling my boy, every Target I go to got a Robin. He was like, man, Robins are hard to come by down here in, in Orlando. Man, they everywhere, bro. <laughs> the animated series Robin is everywhere in, in SoCal. Everywhere, dog. Ain't nothing up here, man. Nothing to catch my eye anyway. You know, I just, I'm not doing any of this stuff here. So, you got plushies for days. T-Man, eat your heart out. Come get your plushies. Um, Ronin, more Ronin, man. If you're a Ronin collector, you got to be in heaven right now. Because they be, they stock so good. I remember when the TMNT, um, TMNT, what's that, Cartoon Turtles were coming out. Man, it was so hard to find. That was like 2019. Man, I was so pissed hunting them things down, man. And I was living in Hawaii, so that made it even harder because I saw a shit ton of collectors in Hawaii, and they grab shit up all the damn time. You literally have to be there when the store opens if you plan on trying to, get any type of collection going like them cats are ruthless in hawaii let me tell you <laughs> it is not all cookies and rainbows out in hawaii being a collector that's a fact i love the island i love the people but i'd be damned if i want to go back there again and, and collect no sir i will pass <laughs> i'll take my collecting over you know the good weather that they have there like, this brings me the most joy. I'm going to be honest with you. Collecting brings me the most joy. brings me the most peace, serenity, than anything else. You know what I'm saying? I'm just be keeping it 100 with y'all. I miss my friends in Hawaii. I ain't going to front because I met some good folks there. Omar, you know what's up. Uh, Big John, you know what's up. I ain't going to name all of y'all, man. It's going to take too long of a video. Y'all know what's up. Y'all know who you are. But uh, where the fuck am I going? I need to find lights. <laughs> This is why I never come to Target for like things like lights. Like what? Like look at this section, man. Yo, Walmart is killing Target when it comes to the home goods light section. Like I don't want to touch my puck lights. I want, look, you got to push these. I have puck lights like that. If, if that was the case, I'll just use the ones I already had. From when I first started collecting, I mean, I first started collecting, first started setting up my collection in Hawaii, which was like four years ago, I just used those. But I don't want those. I want the puck lights where you can use the remote and turn them on by a remote. Look at this. It's an LED strips, one sixteen strip with remote huh how much is that $11.99 huh huh <laughs> but nah I'm gonna just go with the one that I already got from Amazon I do need like something small like this 16 feet mm, nah that's actually too long I need like that eight foot yeah i'm gonna go with the one already because if, if you go with the one you already have that means one remote can work them all that's what i like if you buy different brands where the fuck am i going see i just be running my dag on my oh i got some more puck lights over here oh shit uh oh here we go here go the remotes cuz that's the one i need right here cuz let's see 
wireless color changing puck lights. Oh, that's what's up. This is slowly cycle through multiple colors or choose your favorite remote control. Okay. That's $39. God. We got some luminous. And that's $33. That's only a dollar less. And you can't even change the color of the lights. Hold on. No, it's the same damn price. What am I talking about? Get your ass out of here. Uh, no, I don't. Definitely need it. Okay. All right. I'll take it back. Uh, Target do got a little nice little puck. Nah, I still think Walmart got them beat when it comes to this. What's this? Remote control 10 light bars. Wireless. Ooh, thirty-four ninety-nine. Hey, Mark, the joints that you found on Amazon, is it cheaper than $34.99? Mmm, three of them in a pack, too. Uh, when I when I go with my, um, what do you call it? Oh, these are long. These are bigger than six inches, too. Mark said the ones he have is like six inches. Um, but, pause. Uh, but when I go with my billy bookcase i'm gonna get i'm gonna get those um but yeah i think i'm gonna grab these right here because i need three of them i'm gonna grab these all right let's head to the house we going to the house all right so we back at the crib straight up uh so y'all seen what it was now me and my Mark, me and my boy Mark, man, we be we be we be going out because Mark is redoing his. Well, he already had redone his collection, which means he bare bones everything. He took all his figs off the shelves, reorganized them, and like set his collection up way different than he had before. I left a link in my last upload. His link is at the top. You can see his collection how it was before. Now, I need y'all help in the comments, spam the comments, hashtag Mark upload the new collection, hashtag Mark upload the new connection, the new collection. We need to make this happen. Like, I've seen it, right? I've seen it because he showed us in the chat group, but you guys need to see it. Like, it's night and day. It's a night and day difference between how we had it before, how we had it now. Now, I said that to say this. Like, if you're a collector and you're serious about how you want your fig set up and you look in your collection room, you're like, nah, I can get more space if I do this, if I do this. It's like you start computing things in your head and you do, 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 do. You start looking at walls, wall space, shelves, bookcases. You know how to optimize your space. And that's exactly what he did. You know what I mean? Like, our collection is forever evolving. Like, um... Uh, I'm just using Mark an example. Like he did that collection video, I want to say five years ago, about five years ago. So imagine how your collection evolves in five years. Like what you once loved, you don't love so much, right? Uh, it's the same with mine. Like I had all of the MCU figures uh, up until the point where I stopped collecting MCU figures. You know what I mean? Uh, but now I just have one shelf of MCU figures. I could easily, with my MCU figures, probably fill two, maybe three shelves with MCU Marvel figures, but that's not where the love is anymore. You know what I mean? Uh, I just want to represent, you know, the the time how MCU first got started until where it ended. That's basically how I'm representing MCU. But anyway, I'm going off on a tangent. I ain't trying to, uh, but... Spam the comments. Mark, show your new collection. Hashtag Mark, show your new collection. <laughs> if you see it, if you guys see it, it's going to give you a lot of ideas on how to, like, you know, get your situation set up. I mean, I watch all of all types of collection videos and looking at the person's setup, so on and so forth. I'm like, man, he's not optimizing his space if he do this and do that he can get more figs up i just that's just how i think uh, but anyway 
when 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 I get all of my stuff set up, I I would definitely appreciate the feedback, you know, criticism, whatever. It it doesn't matter to me. But at the same time, Mark, uh, <laughs> we talked about this. He's like, man, battery battery pucks suck, and I agree, they do. Um, so send me the link to the the non battery pucks, Mark, and uh, so I can so I can so I can check it out. I'm looking up there because. I gotta set the shells up. I gotta set my shells. Anyway, let's get to the hall. I'm, I'm rambling. I'm rambling bad. All right, so hall portion. We're gonna go with. I had this box for like two weeks. I ain't even open it. I know what it is. It's coming from Andrew Toyko. Links in the description. That's where I order all my premium figs from. If you're new to the channel. I shop frequently on Toyco. Anything Mezco, that's a regular release, Mayfex, Storm Collectibles, you know, overseas premium stuff, that's where I go. You know, I know a lot of people, they shop different places, but I can only tell you where I go and who I who I rock with. I've been rocking with Andrew, the owner of Toyco, for about a good, I want to say six years, six years, because we're in 2024. But I need this, this one for my collection for sure. And this is none other than Shiva. Shiva in the house, baby. This joint is super clean, bye. So what I'm going to start doing uh, now is... I'm going to start taking my figs out the box and I'm going to start showing you guys how they look out the box. Now, I'm not going to do that on camera. I'm, I'm going to cut it and then, you know, at the end, they're going to be out the box. You know what I mean? I'm going to probably do in the box, then out the box, take a picture or whatever like that. But, yeah, I needed her for my Mortal Kombat setup for show. Um, The next box I got, I forgot what this is. And you know what? This is probably going to be a two-part haul. Well, I'm not going to say two-part, but I'm definitely going to, um, because I'm, I'm expecting like four or five more boxes to come from Amazon. It's supposed to come today, but I got to pick my daughter up at four. So if it don't come at three, three o'clock, three thirty, then you'll see me in a different clothes. You'll see me in different clothes finishing this haul video <laughs> as I go to work uh, but ordered this guy off of Amazon this is the 60th anniversary uh, G.I. Joe fig uh, this is the action sailor, sailor recon diver right he comes with two face sculpts because you can army build this guy right so you can have you know the, the black face right you can have uh, the white face or whatever you want you know it's your prerogative like bobby brown said my prerogative oh i kind of got a bobby brown sweater on right now bit bell biv devoe in the house my prerogative uh, 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 my prerogative <laughs> yo Stop playing. Why I got the Bell Bib the Bow sweater on, guys? <laughs> Yo, I'm done, bro. I'm done. I'm done. This this video has to come to a close. I'm about to I'm about to truly bug out. Y'all y'all about to y'all about to y'all about to make me bug out on myself. That's crazy when you can bug out on yourself. That means you know you don't take life too seriously. When you can bug out on yourself. Bro, stop playing. I'm here for, for a good time, not a long time. All right, but this guy is super dope, bro. Super dope. So what I'm going to do with this guy, what I got in mind is, okay, so we have some we have some Joes that they're going to re be redoing. I believe they're do, redoing Duke. They're redoing Scarlet. Um, and some other ones, like in their classic, cartoon animated outfits right i believe they come in carded but the ones we got before like duke scarlet and some other ogs i'm gonna take that head off 
I'm gonna put it on this body, and that's gonna be my recon team. Oh, that's gonna be sick. I know a lot of people are gonna steal my ideas. I don't care. I don't even care if you give me credit where you heard it from. But you heard it first here. That's what I'm doing. Uh, a lot of a lot of cats gonna be posting a lot. Yo, this is sick, man. I don't, that's, uh, uh, uh. Man, that stuff don't get me bent out of shape. I'm not like, yo, man, you got to give me my credit. I don't give a fuck about credit. My credit don't pay my bills. <laughs> give me my credit. If you, if you really, if you really want to give me something, give me some money. <laughs> that's, when I, that's when I really respect it. <laughs> All right, but uh, anyway, <laughs> I got... What I do my Shiva? All right, yeah, I got uh, the recon dude in there. Now this, this is not a fig. This is not a fig at all. Coming from Amazon, this is actually shells that I'm like. There's three shells. They're like 16 inches long, um, and I'm gonna use these shells to put my bumblebee MD MDX. You know figs on that um i'll show you because the next box is gonna blow yo socks off so uh they put a box inside a box so this one this is how the shelves come um i guess just to make sure you don't damage it so these shelves are going to go above my G.I. Joe Cobra display. And like I said, they're really small shelves. And this is the reason why I wanted puck lights. I know, I know me and Mark, we're going back and forth. Puck lights suck. I'm like, yeah, they do suck, but they have their place. You got to understand, puck lights do have their place. Um, I mostly... Never, I have never, let's get something straight. I have never actually used puck lights, but I bought puck lights like five or six years ago because that's what I was seeing, you know, people use. And I was like, oh man, that look good. You know, some people was using them in their detox. Some people was using them on their shelves. But I've, I've I ain't going to say graduated because now it seems like I'm throwing shade on the people that use puck lights. I ain't going to say I graduated, but. My thought process has changed on using puck lights because puck lights, you got to buy a gang of these. And that's not the way to go. You've seen how much they cost. I showed you in Target, and you ain't trying to do that. But for little small areas, or say you want to spotlight just a certain fig, and you want the light to just shine on him, you don't want no long strip of light, puck lights is the way to go. And that's how I'm going to use the display, these MDX uh, movie box, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they're die cast, so they're like freaking premium freaking figs. So, but I'm gonna take one of these shelves out and I'm gonna show you. Like these shelves are not big, and they're floating shelves. That's why you see this in the back. They're floating shelves, and this is going to be perfect to set like just one bot on, and then I'm gonna have the puck light just shining on that one bot. Now, I can fit two of them on there if they make any more MDX. If 3-0 makes more MDX figs, I may, I, may, I may buy another one and they can share a shelf. You know what I'm saying? But for now, I'm going to have one each shelf. That's, that's the way I'm going to rock. Um, but that came in. So right after this video, I'm going to install them shelves. Uh, and for the... Every piece resistance, if you if you know what I mean, the the resistance. I say the best for last, but it's not is not totally last because we have four boxes coming in. So this is the halftime intermission, if you will, <laughs> intermission between time. But last box for this segment with this shirt on. <laughs> That's my French accent. I'm gonna get the box. Uh, <laughs> so, oh, man, I've been waiting for this. Man, I don't know. I, I love 
Look, look, look. Everybody's like, open the box, plastic, why you talk? <laughs> I know some people be hella impatient. I'm talking to you, T-Man. Yeah, he be hella impatient. Yo. Man, if you don't just open the box and show us. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so, uh, I would, I would say MDX30, MDX, they have, they are my favorite, one of, they have to be top three, top three favorite damn bots, because I don't collect MPs or anything, but I'm going to go beyond bots, I'm going to just say top three favorite line in general, I like, I like the, uh, I like the big boys, pause, pause. I like the big boy bots. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Oh my goodness. Now, uh, I don't know if you're new to this channel. I don't know if you're new to even hearing about a 3-0 uh, bot. They're, they're based off the movies, right? And I know a lot of people got a lot of harsh criticism about Transformer movies. Personally, I like the movies. I do. I like the movies. I like the bots. Um, I used to collect the six inch, like, you know, Transformer movie figures. Again, I veered away from that. That was like five or six years ago when I started collecting those type of uh, movie bots. I got, I'm, I'm, Nate, Nate is getting all my movie bots. I'm giving them all to Nate. Uh, for free <laughs> because Nate has definitely hooked me up. You see this shelf right here with all the spectrums of the Green Lantern Corps. I'm going to say about 70, 60 to 70 percent of those bots came. I mean, not bots, of those figs came from my boy Nate. He helped me big time with that, with those factions. So it's only right that I bless him back. But, whew, this thing is dope. Super dope. Definitely super dope. So, to give y'all an idea, I have some more MDX movie bots for y'all to understand the magnification of how dope these are. These things are highly detailed highly articulated this is sound wave with ravage in his chest wow look how big he is huge i mean the art basically i'm gonna say 80 85 percent die cast like this thing is heavy it has weight to it like it's no joke you feel me no joke moves like you wouldn't even believe i mean everything plus more of articulation we talking butterflies all that uh, i don't believe sound wave have butterflies because of this chest that he has in the front but he does have a gang of articulation so and he scales with bumblebee that just showed you plus his optimus prime Man, this prime is crazy. Die cast out the yin yang. I'm trying to tell you, boy. Like, if you're not hip to the MDF, MDX, am I saying that right? Let me see. DXL. This whole time I've been saying MDX. D L X. D L X. I'm tripping because they do have an MDX line, but those are the smaller ones, like six inch scale. These joints right here were the big boys. These are these are the big boys. And they, they come with a big boy price. I believe like don't quote me because y'all know I be forgetting stuff. I believe they're like 180 or something. So like hot toys price. This is this is the hot toys of Transformer movie bots. You know what I'm saying? You got your retail Transformer movie bots, you got your hot toys Transformer movie bots. This is this is it. This is the Creme 
de la creme. Yeah. All right. So I'm going to put it to you like this. You know what? Those four boxes that are coming in, uh, this video is so long. I'm going to just put it in a whole new separate video. That's that's what we're going to do. We're going to put it in a whole new separate video. I'm going to be wearing something different, even if they come in today. I don't care. So I'm going to say, say my goodbyes, my pieces. I hope everybody's doing well. I hope you enjoyed the video. Coming to you once again. You know what I'm saying? I'm Like I say, I'm here for a good time, not a long time. So with that said, Collect what you love, love what you collect. Be patient with yourself, be patient with your hunky, be patient enough to win. It can and will go left. It's your boy, Plastic Addict, signing out of here. I'll see you later, Plastic Addict. Oh, all right. Here is the detailed look as promised, right? This is Shiva. And what's dope about this is her feel. I don't know if anybody owns any of the other. Mortal Kombat forearm figs, but her feel is much better. Like she's lighter. Um, her joints, I'm not saying that their joints don't move easy, but hers seem to like really flow really easy. It's, they're, they're not squeaky. It's like they made they made all the improvements they need to make with this one. Um, we have Goro, and I believe we have ah, I forgot the other one's name. It looks like a tiger, tiger stripes. I forgot his name right now, drawing a blank. But she comes with uh, a second head portrait. This this is the head portrait that came on, that that came, that was on her head in the package. Jeez, words, hard to talk. <laughs> but yeah, she got that, that ponytail or that hair at the top. And she got those, sorry, off camera. On a spike. Then I ain't did a review in a long time. This is not even a review, right? I'm just giving you guys an overview. She comes with a mean amount of hands. Like, stop playing. Like, all these hands, right? Because, of course, she has four arms. So, she's going to come with a lot of hands. And then she comes with this power effect right here. This is her, like, special power effect. I don't know the name of the power effect, but it, it is uh, her move. And um, she also comes with a stand so you can like prop up the power effect. You know, you like piece those together and put it at whatever height you want it at and select which hole you want to put it in or whatever like that. But pause. Um, that is Shiva. This is the recon Joe that I was talking about. This is the, they're calling it the action sailor, action sailor recon diver, right? Now, I'm not going to take all these accessories out and show you. You guys can see. My deal was <laughs> that I was going to take it out the box and give y'all a closer look. This tray is out of the box and you have a closer look. <laughs> loopholes loopholes but what i'm trying to do i'm not trying to draw this video out longer than it should be you know what i mean like i'm trying to stick between 30 to 35 minutes i know i get super long-winded but it is what it is so uh this guy will go good with any of your aquatic joes or aquatic uh Cobra eel, any any aquatic team members or force that you have either on Cobra or or GI Joe, super dope. And he comes with like how GI Joe used to do back in the day. They used to come with stands, like 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 they said it's the 60th anniversary, so they're pulling out all the stops on the guy. Like for thirty four dollars, you definitely getting your money's worth. Now, last but certainly. Most certainly, not least, woo, DXL Transformers, the ri Rise of the Beast Bumblebee. Look, I got him in this pose so y'all can understand the gratification that I'm talking about when I say these bots are die cast and they are engineered with extreme posability, extreme posability, like they ain't no joke, y'all. 
If you enjoyed the movie Rise of the Beast and you enjoy this look of Bumblebee, I suggest you seek this guy out and get this guy. Like, it's not even a game. Look, check this out. So he comes with two face sculpts and then, you know, his antennae or whatever they're calling these things can come up. Now, he also does have lights and... Um, this is how you switch the lights on and off with the button in the back. But guess what? The, the crappy thing about it is they don't come with lights in the, in, in the, I'm sorry. They don't come with batteries in the box that pissed me off. So now I have to go out to, I guess, a watch store or maybe the, um, uh, section where they sell like little watch lights in walmart or target or whatever and get that um he also comes with two different uh hand cannons right one for his left arm one for his right arm and they plug in and out fairly simple hey look guys excuse my lights I only have one light shining on this guy um I don't know where my other light is. I haven't done a review in such a long time. So I'm like I said before, I'm just showing you guys what's happening out here in these streets for three zero and everything that I got coming in. Uh, he also comes with these two set of hands, right? And they are um, pretty, pretty pliable. You know what I'm saying? Not super soft and definitely not super hard like the Optimus that I first got, I believe in 2019, the Optimus hands, like one of them broke on me because I was trying to put his gun in his hand and this, and they were so rigid, they freaking broke on me. And I was like, damn, I guess he only gonna be able to hold his gun in one hand, you know what I mean? He also comes with another set of hands, which is like more spread out, right? So that's pretty dope. Got these hands right here. Super sick. And he only has four four digits. <laughs> none, of the, none of the digits move, uh, by the way. I, mean, I know it looks like the digits move, but no. Not that far. That probably would have ran another hundred more dollars if they had moving digits. And the last function that he has, I'll show you guys right now. Ooh, wait. Look, uh, <laughs> I'm taken back, bro. Like, it's one thing that really, really makes me love this hobby is seeing a great freaking action figure. But this is, I'm sorry, I, I think I misspoke. I said one thing, I, well, check it out. I forgot what I said. Here's the last thing or I, his last feature that he comes with is the doors. As you guys notice, his doors are on and but they splay out oh my goodness to give that real b looking like type of effect that he had in the movie like stop playing this joker is clean do not sleep on this guy if you feeling this guy like that like look at the engineering look at the ankle the ankle rocker like when i'm i'm not exaggerating uh, when i tell you that this guy has more articulation than a marvel legend i mean it bro <laughs> i mean it like this thing is crazy sick i wish they it come with batteries so i can show you guys the lights right um he does have two color changing lights in his head one's red for attack mode and then one's blue um for just regular you know what i mean when he's just walking around just you know just being b but when he gets mad and he gets into that b fight mode woo -wee, the eyes go red and he goes in but look this is it i hope y'all enjoyed i said my goodbyes already so y'all know what to say Y'all know what to do. I don't never have to tell nobody to press no like button. I don't never have to tell nobody to subscribe because y'all do what comes natural. And if you like something, you're going to want to see it again. Point, point blank and simple. I'm your mans.
Plastic Addict, and I'll see you next time. Peace.